it's Lou Collins and welcome to another Friday 5 Minutes Makes. Now this is a super quick card for you. You can do it in different colourways if you wish to but hopefully you can take some of these techniques and use them when you need a very quick craft project. So the first thing I'm going to do is work on craft cardstock and I'm going to be using Distress Ink rather than Distress Oxide and this is just because it lightens a lot more because it's a dye based ink and I'm going to create a quick wood grain texture on my card here. So the reason I'm using this is because it's going to go onto a card base. I've cut this ever so slightly smaller than my white card base. Um, and I'd just like to add a little bit of texture to it, a little bit of pattern. So this is the three inch Distress Ink in old paper. And I'm just going to drag it down. Now underneath here, I have got a blending mat and just by dragging that down like that as you can see I've just given myself a bit of a wood grain effect so when that dries that is going to be even lighter I'll just show you an example so that will go to this sort of color once it's soaked in and dry so we're going to set that aside give this a wipe and while that's drying I'm just going to uh, ink a few splodges now I've got some leaf dies here and I'm going to be using these so I'm just going to bear in mind I want to kind of uh, die cut three of these so I'm just going to ink enough space on a piece of white cardstock to die cut three of these all together now these leaves have come from my um, my papercraft society box so if, you, if you're getting that or you, I don't think you'll have it yet, it's coming out to subscribers very soon, but if you don't have it yet, then hopefully you soon will and you'll be able to do this technique with these leaves, but alternatively any leaf dye you have at home will work. Now I'm just trying to fit these on, so try and fit them together to get the most out of here. So let's go like so and I'm just going to use a little bit of low tack tape I'm going to die cut these three and then I'm going to die cut two more again so that'll be this one and this one again on this section now I have my leaves cut out I'm just going to stamp sentiment onto my background before I glue the leaves on so I'll just pop this into a stamping block a stamping platform I've got a sentiment here that says another year wiser this is one of my textures reflections sentiments so just be careful about lifting that up it's a it's quite a new stamp so it's still like super sticky and I'm going to use a solid black color so this is just to really show up on that craft card stock there so I'll do a couple of layers you could even heat emboss this if you did have a little more time lots of ink and by using a platform I know that I'm stamping in exactly the same place again there I'm going to use my uh, creative craft products and book binding glue which is my favorite paper craft glue at the moment it's super super sticky and it's just perfect for bonding paper and cardstock together and I'm going to pop though that mat on there you can use foam tape if you prefer if you're in a hurry obviously always wet glue is going to be your quickest adhesive there we go and I'm going to now just stick these leaves down now I've got the longest leaf to go in the middle and I'm going to start with just the stem and the middle leaf there I'm just taking that excess off pop that in the center any glue that's showing there like so will dry nice and clear then I'm going to probably just tuck this one under so this is the reason I just glued the center down because I wasn't quite sure um, which leaves are going to tuck under which so I think that one there then I'm going to go with the the one that's got the most sort of ripe persimmon on it the orangey corally color um, that one can just go to the edge there and then the same on the other side working out to that lovely cracked pistachio sort of mint green colour. If you enjoy this don't forget to check out the other 5 Minute Makes videos 
that I've got on my channel. They'll, you'll find them here in the playlist. And of course, please do subscribe if you haven't already. But there's my finished card. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's a really super quick dimensional card, lots of texture and suitable for any occasion.